very good afternoon each and every one today we will discuss the concept of standard sequence what the mean agenda to learn the standard sequence at the end of the session we will be able to learn standard sequence so why we learn standard sequence that is the more important point because of every concept we should learn so here i am telling that so for an example in every signal we can express or we can convey some information so for every object too we cannot be calculated directly for every object obviously it's true so at this moment at this moment basically i need some standard signals so for the purpose of standard signals is that standard signals is that with the help of with the help of standard signals we can calculate the what the complexity signals we have so with the help of standard signals we can calculate the complexity of the signals so where we have a different signals for example if the signal containing of information like that, it is a signal containing of the information like that this is a continuous signal just i will take it as x of the in place of n i can write it as it is so it is my signal it is my continuous signal how i will express this signal in a mathematical way so as mathematical way if i have wanted to be expressed definitely i need to be learn a standard signal in this signal i will be expressed in terms of step signal means what i need to be learn in a standard signal i need to be learn a standard signal then i will be calculate so the purpose of standard signal is mean that to calculate the what mathematically complex in that the first signal we will learn that is impulse signal that is impulse signal impulse signal or whatever the impulse pulse so we just uh, compare with the continuous to disk also we can compare so while we can convert del of t is equal to some if we consider this unit step signal uh, if <coughs> if we consider this impulse signal so infinity the t equal to 0 and t not equal to 0 instead of infinity i can write it as a 1 where i can define it as a impulse signal so the diagram which is called as where it is t and it is the impulse signal diagram of t and i can notate it as some infinity or if i say it is the unit impulse i can notate it as a 1 the similar way by the way it is the nature of the continuous now coming to the discrete point of view now coming to the discrete point of view the same story will happen the same story will happen what del of n is equal to 1 where n is equal to 0 and 0 is n not equal to 3 means simply n it is del of n and if i write it as a 1 so it means that what where n is equal to 0 means here the shifting object is 0 here shifting object to n minus 0 so for an example if i will define the impulse signal at n equal to 2 means del of n if i will define this function where 1 where n is equal to 2 And zero where n not equal to three point two. So if I will define this signal, then simply I can write it as n minus two. Simply you can make it as n minus two equal to zero where n equal to two. Simply the signal which is the defined n n minus two will be containing of the concept called will be contain 
n minus 2. Right, this is the input signal signature. Now, the second thing we have, second signal is, like we can say it is a unit or we can say it is a unit step function. We can say it is a signal, I can say it is a step function, maybe I can define it as a unit step function. A u of t is a, some definition A, where t greater than 0 and 0, t less than 0, we can define for unit step A equal to Already we know that it is t, it is v of t. So we define f t. Now coming to the concept of m, it is, it, it is also defined from continuous. Where we define in discrete nature, the same story just v plus m with the t with the n, v of t with the v of n. Where n greater than or equal to 0 and less than 0. And keep in our mind, here it is a discrete. We cannot define every object with the time value P of n. So it will be defined only particular values only. particular values only it will maintain the amplitude. And if you reversal if you consider it is a V of minus T. But in the case of discrete, we don't say it is a V of minus T. Because of already V of N to define at 0. So for reversal you can take V of minus and minus 1 U will be considered. And then next signal we can know that Ramp signal, ramp signal or ramp function. So R of t, you can know that t zero, t greater than or equal to zero, t less than zero. The function is that simply it, it is. Of course, we can know that it is a major energy or power signal. T zero. So this signal means simply it is a continuous version of the signal n r of n where signal will be continuously we cannot take it as a continuous signature. So I will take a direct point only. So these are the finished. Simply, I can take it as a a power of n or a power of n. Like that, you can. And similarly, we can take an exponential signals. Sign sort of signal. Exponential signal means a power of. Uh, so we know that exponential signal it will be exponential increase, exponential decrease, and it will be rise to negative side, and it will be increasing. It will be like that. We can take e power of e t based upon t based upon the we have with these type of diagrams. In similar way, if I will take the increasing of increase, so simply I can take exponentially e power of k n like that also we have to discuss that is not an issue to calculate all these constants And similarly, 
that we have in a geometric shape segments we have geometric thing we have this we can move these two formulas where modular epsilon one modular epsilon we just to overcome the geometric shapes to move to learn all these things and the sequence sinusoidal sequence basically we know the sinusoidal sequence and answer is If for example, if it is cross nature, we have if we have cross nature, if we have sinusoidal second nature, so whatever the things we learn, it is a standard sinusoidal segment. Sequence is somehow scale delayed in the survey. It is a object to <coughs> AP will be happen. Only at two, at six we do maintain, at seven, one. So like that we have to be expressively. So next topic we will discuss the continuous and discrete linear system. So like that question with need diagram explain the operation of standard sequence. So you can write in this term. Simple. So all sequence what we have. You can be.